Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac, my YouTube channel for all your vacuum cleaner news, views and reviews and today an unboxing. So if you don't like to see a grown man unboxing a vacuum cleaner please switch over now or find another video to watch. If you do like to see vacuum cleaners being unboxed then stay tuned because this is what I'm going to do. If you don't like the unboxing you might like the demo. That will be coming up soon so subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload a demonstration video which will be actually more than one because this Electrolux Twin Stream is a multi-function vacuum three in one so it's a dry vac, it's a wet vac and it's a carpet shampooer so I'll be doing all those demos for you later on. This is brand new in the box, never been out of the box according to the seller. The box looks a bit worse for wear so hopefully the years it's been stood, wherever it's been stood, have been kind to it and it will still function as it should. So without any further ado, let's unbox this Electrolux Twin Stream. Okie dokie folks, I've um, taken off some of the shrink wrap which uh, revealed that this isn't factory sealed. But I expect... <sighs> yes, that familiar smell. But I suspect it hasn't been out of the box. Now this is made by Electrolux, but I believe it's made for Electrolux because this is made in Italy, the same place that made the Electrolux Aqualux 2-in-1 wet and dry vacuum cleaner that uh, you may have seen on my channel earlier. And I believe the same company also made the Electrolux Masterlux. This is sort of a lower model. It's not a pumped 3-in-1. doesn't use a separate pump like the Masterlux. Okay, so that's the top off. And here we have some, so it has the same filter arrangement. I thought this was a bag at first with the Aqualux iron box, but this is actually the paper filter that goes over the float when you're using it for dry use. There is a little note, important, instruction for connecting the air and shampoo tubes to the floor nozzle. Now, I don't know anything about this vacuum cleaner much, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos and I've read a, a few bits about it. It's called Twin Stream because there are two pipes and it uses air to force the solution through but it comes out in a spray rather than the traditional sort of way of the old Vax and Aquamaster that used a combination of a pressurised system um, and gravity to, to force the solution down to the nozzle. So I think this uses a similar sort of setup, but I have no idea how it works until I get using it. Another little sort of leaflet, some errata, so an amendment to the instruction book, just showing something to do with the filter, I think. There's a little, looks like there's a little switch to release the filter grill to get the exhaust filter off. I expect that's what that's all about. Here's the instructions anyway. Electrolux twin stream, shampoo, wet and dry, and the telltale signs that this has been stored in a damp area with the rusty screws. Let's hope the cleaner itself isn't rusty at all. There seems to be a lot, lot of bits in it. There we go. Looks like I have to attach the caster wheels to the machine. I think I'm going to, I hope I'm not having to put a plug on. I might have to. I haven't even turned on. This has been months since I opened the Electrolux Aqualux. I've not even switched it on because it didn't have a plug on it. I will be putting a plug on this a bit sooner. Because I do intend, of course, on doing a full demo of this. Okay, first thing out the box. Dusting brush. Can't see many... Housewives of the 80s using this machine to do their dusting with, but you never know. Quite rigid, that. Seems a quite good quality nozzle, but I certainly wouldn't trust that to my delicates. Next out, we have a crevice tool for your nooks and crannies. Uh, what's that? Oh, some clips for the solution tube. So this, you have to clip it to the hose, which is a bit of a faff. Oh, that's nice. Metal base, carpet and floor nozzle. 
and that's good it's not suffered from any rusting because it's been in the paper bag plastic bag sorry pretty standard fare there foot operated switch whoops there we go Ooh. brushes either side litter pickers side suction channels so there we go that's the carpets and hard floors inside here caster wheels aha uh -huh. and I've just spotted a fitted plug so that's good that's your sort of all-purpose upholstery nozzle so you could use that for wet use as well if you had a flood if your washing machine sprung a leak or you were defrosting your freezer you could use that I suppose here is the hose, nice silver colour. That's very, look at the angle on that. Look at that. That is very, you know, it goes straight and then it suddenly goes down like that. So I think more or less you'd be holding it more or less straight as you're using the machine. You've got suction, do breathing, slide control. It's a bit stiff that. Oh, there we go, fully open. And fully closed. It doesn't swivel, that's unusual. No swivel action there. And if it swivels this end. Oh, it does swivel, at least it swivels on the cleaner end. Uh, got a bit of a rubber seal on there. Looks quite good. Pretty standard length of hose. These are the same, exactly the same tubes as supplied with the, mm, ma not Masterlux, keep thinking, Aqualux, keep forgetting what it's called. Two rigid plastic tubes. Okay, I think it's time for the cleaner itself. Here we have fitted plug, which I'm pleased to see. So this must have come after the Aqualux that didn't have the fitted plug. Let's see if I can take that out first. So that is your clean water. Look at that, it's actually got a metal, a metal piece on it. Look at that, it's like that looks good, doesn't it? A piece of a metal connector like you get on the pneumatic George. And this is this this must be where you fill it, I, I assume. I don't, don't really know. Don't want to force anything. It looks very small capacity compared to say the Aquamaster. It's reminiscent of a it's reminiscent of the Aquamaster clean water tank, apart from of course it's being much shallower. And it doesn't go all the way round like the Aquamaster one. I do think that, that that must be where you fill it, but I don't want to force anything until I've checked the instruction book. So I'll just pop that to one side. And we can have the full reveal. Let's hope it's okay. Ooh. It's very dirty. Oh my lord. It is filthy. And there's something broken. Oh, this company, this is, they don't have any more. There's some broken bits. Well, one broken piece, and it's blue, so it's... Oh. There you go. Let's hope that that doesn't matter, and hopefully a little bit of super glue will fix that, because there's no way they've got any more of these. And it is absolutely filthy dirty. Oh! <laughs> yes, that shouldn't happen. Look at that. that mm, mm. <sighs> God. You know, here we oh, here you are, we can get to see some of the motor. Look. Look what's happened. Look. I've just lifted it out of oh, God. When will I learn what I don't, you know, <laughs> now you saw me do that, I lifted it out, now you don't expect a vacuum cleaner to break like that when you're lifting it out the box. Anyway, I may, may be able to get this part still. Oh, that is absolutely ludicrous. Look at that.
just completely because it's not been stored. I, I don't know. You know, I keep buying from this this uh, company. I don't know why. Well, you know, sometimes it's okay. I just unboxed a Hoover Sensory before this one. It was fine and dandy. And this one, which was I, I was looking forward to a lot more than the Sensory. <laughs> oh, that is just stupid. Right, there's things to show you inside. And that's, that bit looks broken too. I mean, this, and what's this all about, look? Look at that, what's that all about? Um, this is apps. I'm gonna have to take photos of this. This makes me cross. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go online and see if this whole part here, this blue part, is available as a spare. And I might have to see if this part, this part's okay, albeit very dirty. I mean, I could glue it as an interim, but ludicrous. There is the thing, whatever it is, you know, it's a thing. I'm just fuming, <laughs> absolutely fuming. I don't think that even, I don't want to force that. I would have thought that would have gone, that is supposed to go upright, isn't it, when you're carrying it? But if I force that, that will probably snap off. I'm gonna to have to take photos of this. God. That's the on off switch, I believe. So, anyway, here's the motor unit and a little preview of the top of the motor and the cooling fan. Something I wasn't expecting to show you, probably ever. Here's the filthy bucket, and inside we've got some vintage. Ooh, it's all. It's hard, well, it's, it's, it, I don't know what's happened there, but it's not full. That's not full. I think it's leaked out and it's been so long it's sort of evaporated. Yeah, it's just all over. Vanish carpet shampoo with defoamer. Might as well open it and give it a sniff, because half of it's gone wherever. There's hardly any in. Right, just where my finger is, that's where it is. So, Lord knows where all that lot's gone. It's all in, it's all in powder form by the looks of it. Oh, this one does actually have a bag. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know why I bother. I do not know. Oh, the little dust that's from the, um, crikey. So if you want, if you were, uh, if you're bidding in this auction and you didn't win it, I bet you're smug now, aren't you? Eh? I bet you're smug now. <laughs> I'm either going to get the money back for to buy a replacement part if I can still get a replacement part, or I want my complete money back for this. Here is a spray nozzle. It's quite narrow, actually. Certainly narrower than a George. Here is. The solution pipe, pipes, covered in the carpet shampoo that is, is turned to powder. Oh, oh, it has hard floor cleaning ability as well, because that is your hard floor squeegee. Again, absolutely covered in the powder. And inside, so that's what happens. That's, Fascinating. That's what happens to carpet shampoo if it's stored incorrectly. This will clean up. I'm not bothered about this. Hot soapy water. This will all clean. And everything is going to need a bit of a wipe down. What, of course, I am seething about, as, as I would be, is, is this. But I'm going to, I'm going to switch it on. Yeah, let's, let's risk it, shall we? I'm going to switch it on. Even without the motor cover on, <laughs> just so we can see. You might not see this again, depends. Depends if I can fix it or, fingers crossed, Electrolux still supply. I know a couple of websites that do an awful lot of spares. 
whether or not that part will still be available. It's not the sort of part that the average consumer would be replacing, not the whole motor cowling. Anyway, I don't know which, that's on, that's off. What's all that about? There's something broken there, you see. I think it, I'm hoping it's going to work. Anyway, I'm going to plug it in and we'll have a look. Okay, I've plugged it in. It's switched on here, but it's not switched on at the wall. So I'm going to um, retreat into the next room, leaving the camera here. If it blows up my camera's ruined, then they'll be providing me with another camera. I'm just going to switch it on from the socket. It might jolt a bit when it gets turned on, but let's have a look. So, fingers crossed it works. Well, that's a saving grace. It does at least work, and it actually, even without the motor cover on, it's pretty quiet. I was expecting it to be a lot noisier than that. This will work. Um, I have switched it off at the socket. This goes on here. Ah, that's what that does. That little thingamajig. It says shampoo, so you must move it to shampoo or something, I don't know. That won't even go on. It's, it will need a whole new motor cowling cover. I mean, that is that, that's how it goes on, that's it. That's how it fits. And then of course, I'm hoping to be able to demonstrate this for you at some point. And then that would fit on when we're using it for shampooing. So, okay, that's it for now, for today. I'm going to get onto the website, take some photos of the damage. Also find out, fingers crossed, if I can actually obtain that part. I'll find out how much it costs and I will ask the seller to refund me that amount. Everything else hopefully will be fine. The motor seems fine. There's no, no trouble with the motor. But obviously, when one lifts a vacuum cleaner out of its box for the first time, one does expect to pull the whole vacuum out. One doesn't expect for the whole top cover just to come off and for that to snap. You see, plastic... Plastic's a funny material, you know. Because if it's stored incorrectly, if it's stored in, in a place where you get extremes of temperature, plastic doesn't like that. And it weakens. And I believe that must be what's happened here. The plastic has weakened. You know, I don't think any amount of glue... I mean, it would, would, would secure it in place, but I would not be able to lift it from the handle. I would not trust it to survive. Absolutely covered in muck. So that's the Electrolux twin screen. I won't even do a nice glamour shot with all the bits for you at the end because there's no point. This is it. There we go. You can't win them all, can you? Never mind. I'll have to, I'll have to console myself and buy a brand new SIBO or something. I know there won't be anything wrong with that. Anyway, it's not the Electrolux's fault. It's the seller's fault, as usual. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not subscribe? What harm will it do? Because if you do subscribe, hopefully, there will be a nice outcome for this. I will be able to get it fixed. But until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.